family, this is Akaya coming at you. It's been a very long time. I actually just now started making videos again. I'm gonna make a video today on how to be able to make my Southern semi cooking food. And the reason why I say semi, because some of the stuff I do get actually from the um, store. So what I like to do is I actually have a taste for some chicken. You can actually cook a chicken, but if you don't have time to be able to do that, which I don't have time to do that, I want a home cooked meal in less time. So um, I wanted some kind of southern type deal. I actually purchased my chicken. It is the freaking bomb. You have to see this chicken. Um, if you're in the Kennesaw area, Atlanta area, there's a restaurant called Jim Paul's. Um, they sell chicken, they sell fish, they sell shrimp, and it's the freaking bomb. So you do have to um, go there. And what I like to do is go ahead and purchase that. And I actually put it in the microwave for now. What I'm gonna do once I get officially done with everything, I'm gonna throw it back in the oven and let it heat up. But for now, I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to make. I'm gonna be making some yams. I'm gonna be making some greens. And I'm also going to be making some um, cornbread. The cornbread is pretty simple. Um, I always get my cornbread from uh, Jiffy. Uh, you can get it from, all this stuff you can get from your local grocery store, okay? Um, what I want you to do is I actually want you to read the directions on the back of the box for the Jiffy because every box is different. And once I come back, I'm actually going to show you how to make the yams. Uh, the products that you'll be needing for the yams, you'll need some chopped pecans, some uh, light brown sugar or dark brown sugar. I also like to use this type of yams. I also use the yams that's kind of like made like an actual potato, like... Um, this, like this will be a yam, but my husband don't really care for them. So I just went ahead and bought the uh, canned yams. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna doctor it up and make it really, really good, okay? So you do need to get some yams. And I also have some greens. I like to use the greens in the can or the freezer section. If I do use the greens in the can, I do not want them seasoned because I do not like that seasoned stuff that they put on and I like to season it a little bit myself. So you will need whatever greens you like. Unfortunately, they did not have to, uh, mustard, so I had to get two turnip because I like to mix turnip and mustard, but this will be okay. You will also need some eggs for your cornbread, some canola oil, and you'll be needing uh, some um, baking sheets to be able to put your yams in as well as your, um, your cornbread. So let's get started. What I'm going to go ahead and start, and again, like I said, if you didn't get your um, chicken from the store, you can go ahead and start up your chicken. But this is the whole purpose of me making this video to make things easier. Sometimes you can go to like the restaurant and get like maybe chicken and you cook all the rest of your meals, uh, like the sides. And that's a good thing to do because, I mean, being a kid is nice to be able to have home cooked meals. So at least if you can do something home cooked, it makes it a lot easier and quicker for you. So what I'm going to do, I am actually going to make Go ahead and put the greens on. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and take the greens out the can, put them in a the pot, and add just a little bit of, I think I'm going to add my garlic, see, my garlic salt. So let me go ahead, open these up, put them in a pot, add my garlic salt, and I'll come back at you and show you how we're going to make the yams, okay? Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and opened up the uh, greens and I put it inside of this pot. And what I did was I actually added some seasoned salt to the greens because the way that I like to buy them, I like to buy them when they're not even seasoned. Because to me, when they're seasoned, I don't like their seasoning at all. So I like to add it myself. Um, and what I do is just kind of just stir it up. You also can add you a little bit of garlic in here if you like. And I'm just going to let this just simmer on the uh, stove. Um, until basically heat up because it's already done and all you're doing is just like putting it on the stove so it can be able to warm up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the stove and let that warm up. And now I am about to get started on my yams. Okay, you guys, now I'm actually working on the yams. I like to uh, pour a little bit of this water out, just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. You don't want them all watery. And then what I like to do is just put my yams inside of the baking sheet. And what I like to do now, I like to use brown sugar. And I forgot to tell you guys, I do like to use honey too. You, you use this to your discretion. You don't have to use a whole bunch. It's all up to you and how much you like, okay? So just kind of sprinkle on some, um, some actual brown sugar. 
And I also forgot to tell you that I love to also use um, cinnamon. Cinnamon is really, really good in yams. So just put you some cinnamon on there. I really like cinnamon. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take a little bit of honey and just kind of just drizzle it. Um, actually, you know what? Go ahead and put your pecans. I'm gonna open up the pecans. Put your pecans on first. And again, this is, um, you don't have to use pecans. It's up to you. I like to use pecans though. Sometimes I don't, it just all depends. And I just kind of put it all over. I'm gonna use all of them. Just kind of just sprinkle it all over. And the kids always like this because I kind of think of this as kind of like a dessert also, even though it's yams, but the kids like it. So, so just drizzle you a little bit of honey on. And I just cook mine like this. Like I don't um, stir up anything. I just put some aluminum foil. Let me put just a little bit more cinnamon because I do like cinnamon, you guys. Cinnamon is good. Put the cinnamon on. Make sure you got enough brown sugar. Let me just add just a little bit more brown sugar just to be on the safe side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some aluminum foil on it. And I'm going to let it cook for about probably about a good 30 minutes and then I'm going to check it. And it's probably going to be done by then, but always make sure you check it. Put your aluminum foil on it. Sometimes I like to just go ahead and just poke it a little bit. Put some poke aluminum foil. And put it on 350 degrees. Put it on about, put it on about 20 minutes. And then check it and see how it's going. And if it needs some more time, then you just add a little bit more time to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Give it 25 minutes, see how it looks. And then I'm just gonna kind of go up. And you can be able to tell when it's done because it's gonna kind of give it a nice little kind of browner, syrupy type, um, the, the actual um, brown sugar and all that kind of, kind of like a little caramelized. It looks really, really good. And um, like I said, go ahead and cook it for 20, about 20 minutes, check it. And then um, you can see if it's done or not. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is stir up these greens. And now I'm actually gonna start on my cornbread. Okay, you guys, now that I'm actually about to bake uh, the cornbread, let me turn this greens down just a little bit. Make sure you're watching your greens because you do not want your greens to get burnt. So go ahead and just put it on low, simmer, and put a lid on it because the greens most definitely will be the first thing to get done. Um, just put it on low and just let it simmer. Okay, but anyway, here's the cornbread. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put, you can use Pam if you got Pam. I don't have Pam. Just get a little bit of oil. Just a little and just rub it on whatever baking sheet you will use because you don't want it to stick and putting the oil on here make it not stick make sure you put it on the sides too just like that so i got it all over the pan and now what you want to do is set the pan aside go ahead and put your open up your jiffy mix and like i said read the back of the box whatever your box say um, I'm going to go ahead and put in, the Jiffy says, go ahead and put in uh, two both of these. And sometimes I don't really use both of them because um, we really don't eat cornbread like that. So I'm going to eat some of it. And this meal that I'm making is enough for, uh, I'm going to say about a good four people, um, okay? So I'm just going to put some of that, not the whole thing in there. Just give it a good stir. And then I am going to use silk milk because we usually don't use milk. So silk milk is what I uh, have. It's one third of silk milk. And I'm going to add just a little bit of extra because you know you guys I added um, almost half of the other container. And again, like I said, all the information that you need to use is on the back of the box, okay? Let me get a bigger spoon. Now what I'm going to do, I like to be able to, when I'm breaking eggs, I already broke one of them, I like to put it in a cup just to make sure that you do not put any uh, shell in your um, whatever you're baking because that's the most nastiest thing if you have some shell in there. So again, always break it over a cup. And this recipe said that you needed to use uh, two eggs. And I always clean up as I go. It makes it so much easier. Make sure you clean up as you go. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that. 
egg in there and just stir it until it's completely stirred up and this is going to be a little bit lumpy um, but just keep stirring you can be able to tell when it's all mixed and stir it with your hands some people use a mixer i got a mixer but it's really no need for this now if i was baking a cake i would use a mixer but you don't got to use a mixer for this getting it all blended so you guys will keep on doing it until it's totally blended it's looking nice and creamy okay so now it is ready to go inside the baking sheet you can um, use muffin tins if you like but I'm just going to use a regular muffin sheet and then what I like to do is just make sure we give it another good stir just to make sure I go ahead and pour it in. And I put my oven on 350. And again, like I said, read the back of the directions to see how long you'll leave it on there. And I like to always check on it. Don't just like go by what, what the box say. Always make sure you check on it in between time. So this says uh, cook it on 400. I always cook it on 350. You never go wrong with cooking these on 350. This say 15 to 20 minutes until golden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my alarmer to be able to let me check it in like 18 minutes. See how it's doing at 18 minutes. I always like to just drop it. Don't know why, but my mom always told me that's a good thing to do with cake because it makes sure it's level. So I just kind of drop it. I am going to go ahead, like I said, put it in the oven and just scoot over your yams. Oh, they smell real good. So you can smell the cinnamon, you guys. And check all this stuff in 18 minutes. Um, make sure everything is good. Check on your greens. They should be simmering. And this meal, you guys, will taste, taste like I spent so much time actually making it. So this is why I said it's so good to have semi-meal. So you don't have to be in the kitchen all day long. But it's good to make sure you at least try to do some home-cooked meals at least I know we all busy, but at least three times a week because kids really love that. And, you know, when we were young, we loved that coming home from school, being able to eat a nice meal that you didn't even know you think it's taking forever to make. And this is super easy by just doing it this way. So once um, 18 minutes is up, I'll come back at you guys and I'll be back. Bye. Actual cornbread is looking really, really good. Um, and like I said, I'm going to put the yams in there. I'm going to probably give the cornbread probably maybe about a good five more minutes. And then after that, you see that it's getting brown. And then you just take it out. Go ahead and when you when you do take it out, stick a fork inside of it, um, the actual cornbread, to make sure that it's done. If you don't have any cornbread on the fork, that means it's done. But if you have cornbread on the fork, you want to give it a little bit more time. Again, I learned that from my mom, baking cakes. Um, that's a good way to be able to tell because sometimes it looks like it's done and it's not done. So I'm going to put it back on 350 and I'm going to probably give it about a good, um, I'm going to give it yams about a good 10 more minutes. And I'm going to also check um, my cornbread in about five. Okay, and then I'll be back at you. What you want to do since the cornbread and the yams are almost done go ahead and get your chicken out because you're going to put your chicken in the oven so it can be hot what i like to do again like i said i don't have pam so i'm just going to just go ahead and put some grease inside of this baking sheet go ahead and take the paper towel and just wipe it all over it so you don't got to worry about no burner and wipe it on the sides too and then I'm just going to go ahead and place the chicken. And make sure now, um, like you do have everything cooking. So make sure if you put this on the bottom rack, listen to me. If you put this on the bottom rack, you have to check your chicken. Because if not, anything that's on the bottom rack, it most definitely can get burned. So don't say I had you burn it. Make sure you just really checking everything um, so you don't burn anything. And you really not cooking this chicken. All you doing is just getting it warm. So um, you just use your discretion when you think it's warm. Once the actual cornbread is done, I'm going to take the cornbread out and put the chicken on top. Because again, that bottom rack can burn things. And listen to me because it happened to me. So basically it's looking pretty good. Um, let you check it out. The chicken is in the oven. And I also have the yams and the cornbread. And like I said, soon the cornbread is going to be coming out. 
once they come out just kind of let it chill for a little bit um and then you could be ready to serve the food and i took less than 